Chapter 1, Corporate Finance Basics Chapter 1, Section 1, What is Corporate Finance? Corporate Finance is a subtopic of finance that involves how financial decisions in corporations are made and the analysis used to make those decisions. The main objective of corporate finance is to maximize the corporation's value while reducing financial risk. Corporate finance is similar to managerial finance except managerial finance studies the behaviors of all firms whereas corporate finance studies only the behavior of corporations. However, the way decisions are made in corporations is very similar to how other forms of businesses make decisions. There are two broad decisions that are made in corporate finance. They are long-term and short-term decisions. Long-term decisions are generally capital investments like what projects to finance, how to finance projects, and dividend payments to shareholders. Short-term decisions generally involve the day-to-day -day operations of the corporation, such as managing cash, inventories, and short-term borrowing or lending. Chapter 1, Section 2, Corporate Managers. The way corporations make decisions is by hiring managers to run the day-to-day -day operations of the corporation and make decisions. The reason for this is because the owners are millions of stockholders and hence do not make decisions themselves. The highest ranked financial manager is called the Chief Financial Officer, or CFO. The CFO's main function is to fulfill the financial duties requested of the Chief Executive Officer, whose main function is to make the corporation profitable. The CFO is responsible for coordinating the activities and responsibilities of the Treasurer and the Controller. The Controller's duties are related to financial and tax accounting functions, such as managing costs. The treasurer's responsibilities include managing cash, credit, capital expenditures, and financial planning. Most of the treasurer's duties are related to corporate finance. Chapter 1, Section 3 Management Decisions As listed before, there are three primary decisions that financial managers must make, which are what projects to finance, how to finance those projects, and how day-to-day -day operations will be carried out. Financial managers answer these questions by making three forms of decisions, which are capital budgeting, financial structure, and management of working capital. Topic A, capital budgeting. Capital budgeting is the process by which a corporation decides what the corporation's long-term investments will be and the management of those long-term investments thereafter. The fundamental premise is to invest in long-term assets that will return more cash flow than the cost to create those assets. The financial managers take into account potential returns on the assets once completed and the risks associated. The nature of the business will be a major factor in what type of capital budgeting decisions are made. For example, a real estate home builder will want to figure out if they should build more homes and where they should be built. A movie production company will want to figure out if they should produce another movie and what type of movie to produce. Along with factoring in cash flows that will be generated from the newly acquired assets, the managers must also factor in risk. That means the managers must factor in when they will receive their cash flows and how likely they are to receive them. The size, timing, and risk of future cash flows is often the most important factors to what long-term capital investments the corporation will pursue. Topic B. Financial structure. Financial structure refers to the way corporations finance their long-term investments and other assets through the use of debt or equity. The financial manager's role is to decide how much should be borrowed and the least expensive way to obtain those funds. The corporation can decide exactly how much financing through debt they want. For example, a project may be financed with 80% debt and 20% equity. In finance, the amount a company borrows in the form of debt is referred to as leverage. The mix of debt and equity is important for the firm because it will affect the risk and rewards of the long-term investment. The general rule is that the more leverage used results in a higher rate of return, but also a higher risk factor. What happens if those long-term investments don't perform as good as you expected? You would still be liable for the repayment of the debt. 
The more equity used generally results in a lower return, but also more safety. The exact mix for a business is a core issue of the financial structure. Topic C. Management of Working Capital The management of working capital is focused on managing current assets, which are cash, cash equivalents, inventories, and current liabilities. The working capital assets are managed on a day-to-day -day basis to avoid any interruptions that will be costly to the business. There are four different types of working capital management, which are Cash management. Identify the cash balance of the entity to pay day-to-day -day expenses. Inventory management. Identify the amount of inventory that should be stored to allow for uninterrupted production without holding excessive amounts of raw materials. Seeks to minimize reordering costs and increase cash flows. Liabilities management. Establish a credit policy such as terms and conditions, as well as manage debts. Short-term financing. Identify the appropriate form of financing, either through a bank or from suppliers.